hard, hard. Hey everyone, it's Susan Jones and welcome back to my Sunday Spotlight. This week I wanted to go ahead and share another sight word game, actually two of them. Last week I shared how to play sight word freeze dance and I've added all of my sight word games to a sight word playlist. So if you're looking for other sight word activities, you can go to my channel, which is www.youtube slash C slash Susan Jones teaching or something like that. You're probably already here. That's how you're watching this video. But if you go to playlists, you'll see math activities, literacy activities, and I have one whole playlist for sight word games. So this week's games and the game I added last week will all be added to that playlist. I wanted to go ahead and share two free sight word games that I have for you. They are part of my brand new um, print, play, learn sight word pack. If you've been following me for a while, especially on Teachers Pay Teachers, you will know that I have two different bundles that I love that focus on games. Um, the first one, they're both for the print, play, learn like series that I kind of created. And the first one is all about math games and it focuses on all the math standards that you go over in first grade. And the second one is a phonics bundle where we talk about most of the different phonics patterns from short vowels all the way through diphthongs to, I don't know if I said that correctly. And I love those units because they are very simple for teachers to use. You just print them and you play them with things that you already have in your classroom, like crayons, a pencil, some dice. They don't require any prep at all. Just a few weeks ago, I came out with a brand new version and it's focused on sight words. And in the preview, I have two free games that you can go ahead and download and play. So I'm gonna go over how to play those today. For both of the games I'm about to share, all you will need are some dice and a colored pencil or a regular pencil, it's up to you. So let's see how to play the first game, which is Roll, Read, and Tally. So this is a two player game, and like I said, each player will just need two dice. So you roll the dice, player one gets a five, they will have to look in their grid and see what word it says, and they'll need to say it out loud, it. Then they'll just go ahead and make a tally mark. Player two will go, they rolled a six, the word is the, they will go ahead and say it and just make a tally mark. They roll back and forth and students have the same words in each grid, they're just in a different position. That way even though it's a partner game, they still want to go ahead and help each other out if they don't know the words. So this way they're both practicing them. And the point of the game is to try to be the first one to get five tally marks in one of their boxes. That player is the winner. I like the simplicity of that game and that one specifically that I showed in the video goes over the fry words on the very first list, um, one through 25. So actually within the unit, I go over all of the fry sight words from one to 300. And within it, there's a little code, I'll kind of show it up here, but essentially if in the top right corner of the boards, actually let me see if I can have it. This one is the next game I'm gonna show you, it has a one. So if it has a one, that means it goes over the entire first list, one through 100, and the sight words are kind of mixed up within there. If it has one A, that means it's just the first 25 words. One B is the second 25 words, C and D it goes on like that. So that way they're all coded for you. And then within this unit two, I have an editable game board that you can type in whatever sight words that you want your students to work on. So for there's gonna be 15 games in it when it's complete, and each game will have an editable game board, if that makes sense. Let me show you how to play the next game, which is roll, read, and draw. Again, all you need are two dice. Okay, so also a two-player game, roll, read, and draw will review sentences instead of just words with many sight words. So player one rolled a nine, and they have to go ahead and read the sentence, she made me a gift, and then just draw a little sketch that shows that they understand what it means. Now I emphasize that they don't need to take forever on these illustrations, it's just to show that they understand and read what it said. Player two rolled a five and it says her pencil was long. So her was and long are all sight words in that fry first 100 list. And the word pencil is likely one that they've seen before. So again, just the best drawing of a pencil that they can make. Player one rolled a six. She had a long brown hair. Now they'll go ahead and draw long brown hair as apparently this is focusing on my brown hair, but you can imagine that it's brown hair down there and this one does have a color. So I like for them to, if it has a color word, grab the colored pencil to show that again, they understand what it means. 
player two rolls again, they get a four. The ball went into the cup. This one has already been rolled, so their turn is skipped and they pass it back to player number one. Students continue back and forth until one player has filled up their entire grid first. And that's how you play two of my print, play, learn sightword games. As I said earlier, you can actually grab both of these games completely for free. Just click the link in my description. It will bring you to the product, but make sure you download the preview. Generally, in a lot of my products, if I can, I will offer up a free game or a free activity, some kind of free sheet from the unit so you can see what types of games are included or types of activities are included. So go ahead and download and print these out and they are yours to keep whether you purchase the unit or not. As always, if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a like, it means a little thumbs up, click that button, and make sure you're subscribed to my channel. If you decide to use this in your classroom or if you plan to use it in the future, make sure you go ahead and leave me a comment down below. If there are other print, play, learn types of games that you would like to see, also go ahead and leave me a comment. I can, I always have a growing to-do list of things that I want to accomplish and create for you guys, so go ahead and let me know in the comments. And I will see you next week for week number 52 of my Susan's Sunday Spotlight. See you later. Bye.